foodies and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a, a recipe from around the world. Uh, as you may know I put it in my community tab that I was going to do recipes from around the world and everybody wanted me to do them and I'm going to do it alphabetically. So the first letter was A and as you know Azerbaijan won. So I'm going to be making I say a relative simply di simple dish and it's called Ashe Kalam Azari. Now I hope I haven't butchered that. I'm sorry if I have. Um, yeah, uh, basically it's cabbage ash in English. So the ingredients are um, so let me look at my notes. You will need um, one cup of oatmeal, one and a half, sorry, half of a um, cup of cooked chickpeas, one cup of cabbage leaves finely chopped, two cups of herbs. Now there's four different herbs, so I've done half cup of each. So half cup of spring onion, half cup of coriander, half cup of parsley and half cup of spinach and all that's finely chopped. Now you need four tablespoons of fried onion so we're going to, I've cut an onion up and we're going to fry that. Um, also you need salt and pepper, you need half a teaspoon of turmeric, two beef stock cubes, um, yogurt, one teaspoon of dried mint and some chili powder. Um, I've never done this before, I've never tasted it before. Um, this is the way I'm going to see out a different taste of different countries. I will be putting on my community page um, that today the next letter of the country will be and I will tell you the three countries that you can choose from. So yes, let's get cracking, let's get cooking. Now as you can see there, I've got all my um, ingredients already prepared. I prepared them beforehand because otherwise you'd be watching me for hours cutting up things because yeah, I'm using a little red knife. You know how it is. So yeah, let's get started on this dish. So the first thing I'm going to do is fry these onions off because I want these to be fried and put away for when we need them. Now I didn't get any brown um, onion. Unfortunately when I was getting the onions that's all I could get was these ones so it happens sometimes. So yeah, the first thing we're going to do is let them brown off because we want them to be fried. Now as I said I did get this recipe off the internet like most people get their recipes off the internet um, because obviously I'd never even heard of this dish before. So I'm looking forward to um, actually tasting this at least you'll get a lot of greens in your um, diet with this one so it's quite healthy. Um, I would say it was vegetarian, but like, um, I'm not sure if the stock is, to be honest. Let me just have a gander. Well, I'm assuming it's not because obviously it's beef stock. Oh, 
Yeah. Well, he doesn't say any. It is so. Um, I'm not sure. I don't want to mess around with the um, recipe. I want to do it authentic. So I wasn't going to be using a different stock. But I suppose you could if you wanted to. Get these nice and toasty. You also have to have water for this one. Um, unfortunately, all the recipes I looked at didn't specify how much. So I'm going to go off the amount you need for the stock cubes. So um, I'll be using two stock cubes. So I'm going to say roughly, what, 380 millilitres water, give or take. I mean, you can always add a little bit more in. You can't take it out. Mm, I love the, the smell of fried onion. I also asked people in, in my community page if they like the longer video and the majority of people have said yes they do so So yeah when this is um Fried, I will bring you back because I don't want you sitting there thinking boring. So yeah, I'll bring you back when they're they're ready. Now, as you can see, my fried onions have got a nice colour on them, so I'm going to take these out and then I will show you what we're going to do next. Now as you can see my water's boiling, so the next thing we do is add these stock cubes in. So we're just going to stir until they're dissolved. Once they're dissolved which nearly has, just this bit to go. The next thing then we're going to add our chickpeas. Then our oats.
Sen har o yol. I'm going to add all our spices. And then we're going to allow that to cook for 10 minutes. Now I'm going to put a small bit more water in this because I, um, yeah, because I know porridge always takes a lot of water. And I said everything is trial and error, but it's supposed to be like a soup. So I'm just going to add that much. I'm sorry if you can hear the air fryer, I'm um, cooking Mario's dinner. So I'm going to let that cook now for 10 minutes. When we're ready for the next stage, I'll bring you back. Now as you can see I've had this on for 10 minutes so we're at the next stage and the next stage is to add our cabbage and all our herbs. And of course, our onion. And then you put this on low, or medium to low, and you're going to cook it for another further 20 minutes. So yeah, when this is at that stage, I'll bring you back. Now I just wanted to show you how it's doing. I've still got about five minutes more left to do. And then we'll put it in a, my dish and we'll give it the taste test. So as you can see, my dish is done. So I'm going to give you a closer look. I put yogurt and mint now it's time to taste the dish now I'm going to have some without the yogurt first don't my bowl there we go Mmm. Wow. That is delicious. It's very creamy. There are some now with the yogurt on. Mmm. Mm. that is really really nice it's really tasty I actually really like that 
Mm. I still have loads left, so. I'd really recommend you try doing that for your stoves. It is really, really nice. The flavours are really unique. They all blend really nice together. Nothing is overpowering. No flavour is lost either. It's warming, it's filling. I was a bit dubious with the porridge oats because I don't really like porridge. But you don't taste the porridge at all. It's just added as a thickener, I say. That is really, really, really nice. Anyway, let me know what you think of it. Let me know if you're going to try it. I hope you enjoyed my take on an Azerbaijan dish. So if you like the content, please give me a like. Please consider subscribing, it's free. Um, click the notification bell for new uploads. And leave a comment in the comment box. That's all for this one, foodies, because I'm going to rush out and eat this. Goodbye. <laughs>